welcome back in this one we will be covering the basic interface of our blender software it's pretty pretty easy believe me or maybe i just use it a lot so that's why but let's see so let's get started okay so first of all what we are getting here so this big menu is for 3d so all the things that we are going to create will be in this interface in this place so, okay so this is the place where we create all the things okay in the corner we get the outliner outliner mean uh, the things that we have here have this kind of like you can say folders collections files that kind of stuff but uh, these are the stuffs that can be easily found it here it's like the folder and it's like the preview of that thing so you can just find the things all or the things that we create will be come up here so it's the outliner and you can select things from that with just left click so that's it okay this tab is for for the properties so we get all kind of properties according to the things that we have in the 3d scene will be found it here so that's the basic thing okay through here we have all the uh, basic navigations so we'll be discussing this also and here we have all the menus like you want to work with the modeling so just come up with the modeling sculpting video editing and all these stuffs but you can always work with this layout menu because all the things has has been provided so you can just start with that nothing have to change for now maybe later we do something so we will discuss that okay let's start from with how to select things so as we discussed in the previous one it's the left click and with the left click you can select the things okay what we have here it's a default cube it's completely two by two cube here we have a light here we have a camera so the plan is to create things here to light the scene with this light and to capture an image or an animation with this camera that's the simple plan of it okay now let's talk about how to navigate so first thing how to zoom in zoom out it's the middle mouse it's the most easier one okay and also you can just hold on control and with the middle mouse click you can just hold the middle mouse click and you can just zoom in zoom out also you will see all the keys here so don't have to worry if i just miss anything by chance so you can just get it here so with the middle mouse uh, with the scroll and with the middle mouse and control holding the control and middle mouse you can just zoom in zoom out okay how to rotate around the object so it's just the middle click if i hold the middle click and i can rotate anywhere around okay and how to pin the things I, i'm sure it's called pinning i'm sure but if it's not i'm sorry for that so how to pin the things you will see what's the pinning meaning uh it's the shift and middle click you can just as you see i can just pin so i zoom i pin like this and like this and like this i can go really away from that and if i see my cube is there okay and now if i zoom in zoom out it don't work that's the that's the problem it work at some case but when i zoom it zoom only this thing so what's the problem is that your object in in the simple words your object is out of focus so how to focus in that is pretty simple you just select the thing that you want to focus and then press the dot key on your numpad so if you are using a laptop there is alternate for that that i will be discussing it uh, but before that you just see this is how to rotate how to zoom in zoom out how to do it with the short key control and middle mouse it's the most softer one how to focus on things like if i focus on this one as you see i can now rotate from this thing so it's focusing on that okay the same thing can be uh, turned on from here just click on the view and now frame selected and you will see the selected thing and it will zoom in out and now i can rotate so that's the really basic thing okay now if you uh, if you don't have keyboard i don't know you don't have keyboard but if there is an issue for you there is alternate for that always in blender that's that's the power of blender that's the beauty okay so with the left mouse if you come up here i can just rotate with this one if i hold left click i can just zoom and zoom out 
so that's the thing that you must have a mouse at least to work with blender and this one is for pinning and this one is for camera and it's for the orthographic and the perspective but we don't have to change this one just maybe the camera one but later on not now okay uh as we discussed the camera so now let me tell you the short key it's the numpad zero so with numpad zero i can switch between the camera and this view so that's the basic things i'm sure i didn't miss any and if i missed any we can just simply uh cover that in the next lectures that's not an issue okay the last thing that i'm going to show you is that uh the sides angles like for example i want i want to switch to the front view so uh the short key for it is the first so with the first click it's always the numpad one the numpad one and with the numpad three we can go to the right side view and with the nine i can go to the top view and you are wondering like what's the left side what's the bottom and that kind of view so yeah you can achieve that you can get that really easily just if i come up to the front view like y1 so what i can do is i can do the opposite of it so any angle opposite is the nine key so with the nine key i go to behind this object and if i go to uh, if i'm in the right side view with the three i can just nine and i can go to the opposite of that and if i am at the top nine so it's the bottom view so that's the thing how we navigate through the uh short keys but if you are if you want you can do these things man manually manually too uh it's simply coming up here to the view and it's the camera view active camera so that's the first thing okay the second thing is that in viewpoint come up here and top bottom front back and right left okay and also it uh, shows the some more short keys that is control numpad three like if you want to see the opposite of that you can just control and three so that will get to that direction but mostly we don't use like manual things blender is really known for their best short keys so we always use these short keys to work with so that's the basic navigation and in the next lecture we will be covering the transformation how to move things how to rotate things and how to scale up things so continue and see you in the next